what's going on YouTube this is disparity displaying you some of the deadliest content on the YouTube network and today I'm gonna bring you guys a nice succinct video about the key to winning your gunfights in advanced warfare okay so as a lot of you guys already know advanced warfare features a new kind of movement with the exosuits you now have three-dimensional movement you can boost dash and um, you can boost slide you know things like that I was gonna say boost dash and move in all kinds of other ways but really those are the only two ways you can do it either way you can dash while you're in the air you can dash while you're on the ground there's limitless possibilities to making evasive maneuvers to win your gunfights now a lot of people um, they don't really know how to use this they think it's kind of a toy and at first it kind of is it's, it's really cool to play with and uh, just kind of mess around with but at the heart of it you have gotta use it effectively to win your gunfights and that's gonna be based off of your class and off of the map now, those two things don't necessarily go hand in hand. Your class and your map don't have to revolve around your exo movement, but they should. And your exo movement should reflect your class. For example, if you have an assault rifle, please don't charge into a horde of five people with snipers when they're halfway across the map from you. You know, it's just not good practice. And um, you got to learn to use your exosuit better than that. The other thing you've got to realize is that your exosuit is in some ways kind of your best friend you can use it to get to spots that other people don't know about so definitely try and uh, you know explore with it make sure that you have a, uh, a plan in mind for where you're gonna go if you're engaged at any time that's what I like to do is constantly be thinking okay if somebody shot at me right now what would I do with my exosuit would I dash across the door would I try and get out of the room that I'm in would I try and seek higher ground you know you always want to be thinking especially with this exosuit because should somebody come around the corner you'd be prepared to deal with them the next point I've got to uh, make a point about making if I may pun that is your ability to use the minimap to your advantage when using the exosuit. If they don't have the required perk, which is Blast Suppressor, and that's a tier 3 perk found in tier 3, if they don't have that equipped and they are your enemy, they will ping on the map. It's kind of like a, uh, the ping from Ghosts is the best way I can describe it. It's kind of like a wave looking thing. It's really easy to spot. It's kind of like a red dot from any other Call of Duty, and people are going to run right to that, uh, as will you. And that is something you can use to your advantage when priming a kill for your enemy. The next thing I wanted to make a point about is the fact that this exosuit is completely new to people. Now I know that that's a somewhat obvious statement and probably one I should have begun with, but you can use that to your advantage. A lot of people are in this early days of the game are not going to understand how to use this exosuit. It's foreign to them, they don't like it. I read on Reddit it takes away the feel of Call of Duty, but it doesn't, and I'll get to that in a second. In any case, guys, a lot of people are going to be new to this exosuit, and they're going to be using it like crazy. That's one thing you don't want to do, is overuse your exosuit, because your exosuit has to have time to recharge. If you use your exosuit too many times, it will essentially uh, fizz out or die, die out and you will not have time to dash or boost whenever you need it. So a good tip that I like to use is to always dash sparingly. That way when you need a dash and the enemy is around the corner, you can simply dash or boost in the direction that you choose and you feel is best. While we're on that subject, I figure that you should always take time to make sure that you know which route is best. If you're always thinking and you're always talking about, you know, which dash and maneuver am I going to use to effectively kill my enemy, you should always be thinking which way can I dash or boost to make the most out of my class. So if you have an assault rifle, I always, when somebody gets close to me, always like to go up. I don't know what it is. I feel like people just lose their minds whenever I disappear in front of them. And then I can just look down and they're easy target practice. If I have a shotgun, I like boosting up and to the side or doing a lot of side strafing with my exosuit. It makes me harder to hit and frankly people just aren't prepared for it. Uh, but guys, you definitely want to make sure you're using your exosuit, just not overusing it. You want to find that happy balance in between those two groups. Another thing that people don't really realize is that you need to use teamwork more than ever in this game. With exosuits becoming a more prime factor for one-on-ones, it's very easy for another enemy to sneak up on you and change the tide of the gunfight. I cannot tell you how many times I have run into a group of two or three people, gotten fantastic amounts of hit markers on all of them, and then they just kind of suddenly 
you know, all shoot me at once, and they all boost different directions, so I'm, I'm forced to pick a target. You guys, um, at a heart's moment, could go from all three being together to all three just splitting up and making difficult targets for your enemy to hit. So that is one thing to consider. Also, consider your enemy's usage of the exosuit. They are going to be new to the fact that they have exosuits, and they're going to be boosting all over the place. So make sure that you can effectively counter that by boosting and, you know, just practice your gun skill. That's one thing that you can really do to make yourself get better is just practice hitting people in the air and eventually it'll become second nature to you. Right now it's it's new to everybody, so I can understand. But uh, guys, I'm kind of rambling here and frankly it's a pretty succinct gameplay. I just wanted to give yourselves my pointers on the exosuit and essentially just how some tips to keep in mind. I know they're pretty obvious, but uh, I feel like reiterating them to the Call of Duty community would help you all out. Anyway guys, enjoy the rest of the video. I'll see you next time. Switching sides. Search and destroy. Defend the objective. Good job. Get ready for the next battle. Halftime. Search and destroy. Destroy the objective. Joe, get ready for the next battle. Oh. Switching sides. Search and destroy. Defend the objective. Friendly UAV above.
Good job. Get ready for the next battle. Switching sides. Search and destroy. Destroy the objective. UAV above. Good job, Atlas. 